You ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. So, um, as an important member of the selection committee, what exactly are you looking for in the designers? I don't know what I'm looking for necessarily. It's an exploration. It's like a moment to discover ideas, energies, rigor, commitment, enthusiasm, ideas, sense of community, sense of sustainability. It's really inspiring. It's a really, like here, it's a laboratory of ideas that really needs the support of LVMH. I think it's a fantastic thing. And there's a lot more highly charged energy and originality here rather than in, on the runways. Interesting, okay. If there was one characteristic that the winner has to have, what would you say that is? One characteristic that a winner, the winner has to have. Well, they have to have um, an intelligent work ethic. It's, the fashion industry is a big machine. Ideas don't always come out like clockwork. But if you work hard in terms of searching and dreaming and sketching and finding, it gets easier. Carl always said it's like flexing a muscle. The more you do it, the easier it will become. So I think that's one thing. I think courage, courage to explore the risk of volume of how we might occupy space and time at any given moment. I think that there's room for nostalgia and memory, but it must also be reinvented with a sense of an about to be. Fantastic. You mentioned Carl, and he also won a prize at the beginning of his career. Yeah, he did, what? the Hallmark Prize. Exactly. What would That's you why he loved this prize. That's exactly what I wanted to ask you. What would, how was he, did he have a particular way of looking at this? Very fast. <laughs> I mean, he just had like high speed, like super x-ray, te telepathic thing. He mostly worked on the, like sensing the energies of the designers here. So he would be often about whether he liked somebody or not. But I, I remember he really loved Simone Rocha and he really loved Jonathan Anderson. It was like, you know, it's like, he really liked Nabil. Mm. And I think he, it was here where he met Jacquemus. Um, you are a Hall of Fame internationally best dressed woman. What makes a great look? What makes a great look? Feeling good in it. Absolutely. What would be your one piece of advice to the winner of the of the fashion prize? Um, okay, it's a call expression. Number next. So it's a it. It doesn't, it's not meant to sound like sort of mean, but don't rest on your laurels. This is the springboard, like, now start using the impetus of this energy of this support system to really push for your dream. Um, you've seen how the, you know, firsthand how a prize like this can sort of change the trajectory of a designer. What would you think the biggest challenge for them is or what they should watch out for? The biggest challenge is not your first collection, or even your second, it's your third. The thing about, it's not only like an evolution of ideas or a cohesiveness or coherence, those are important obviously, but it's the practicality of things like um, production and delivery. And or oh, let's all go back to like unique pieces in a, that, that John was talking about in his podcast for Margiela. I mean, I think, I think what's happening here is there a sense of something really new where we have somebody who's actually growing the fabric for clothes, where we have like a real sense of community where, you know, you're actually maybe asking, helping women who've come out of prostitution to learn embroidery skills and so actually it's a very different thing and I think maybe that, well I really feel that is the direction that fashion should be moving in. I absolutely agree. Last question, I wanted to know if you ever were to, if you were young one day and had won this prize I when you first started, day, yes. when you, sorry, let me start that again. When, when you were first starting I was out, young one day. I was all, we were all young one day, yeah, honey, very let young me tell you. Day, yes. <laughs> 
if you had gotten this prize when you were first starting out in fashion, yeah. what would be the first thing you would have done? Gone and out and partied. Okay, so that was when I was young then. Okay, <laughs> now if I was young and I, I would actually go with my team because I believe all of these guys work in teams. That was the sense I had of like this like community spirit. And it's something actually Sarah really put actually on the runway in the her last McQueen show. Um, and it's really important. Um, I think I would go with my team and I'd have a really wonderful time together and just allow ideas to crisscross across the table, dance across the room and like dream up the next collection. Thank you so much. You're amazing. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs>